Now, after checking the linear relationship between the two variables using the scatter plot, uh, we will now check for uh, significant outliers for the independent and dependent variable. And here, I'm going to show you two ways to do that in um, in Excel. So the first is by the use of scatter plot. It's uh, the same uh, technique or method that I showed you in finding the linear relationship. So just to recall, you just need to go to insert, uh, recommended charts, and then uh, go to all charts and look for the XY scattered plot and uh, choose the second one which compares the independent and dependent variable together. So select that one and we'll have this. Right, so um, just like uh, in the previous video, I just need to show the thread line here, okay, and the data label so that uh, we would know if what specific case has uh, or will be flagged as an outlier. So here, as you can see, let me change the color or the thread line or the trend line. So here, um, probably the um the, the the plot that is too far from the thread line is this pair ordered pair that is the case that has a dependent value of 188 so in this table it's the pairing of uh, 31 and 188 so um this is a possible outlier because uh, the dependent value is too far from the expected value or the actual value from and, and it's uh, as you can see obviously uh, visually, we could see that this plot is too far from the uh, thread line. But again, this is just based on our observation, visual observations. And there's actually another way for us to um, determine if uh, our first observation um, is correct. And that is by the use of uh, box and whiskers. So we can actually create two box plots for each of these variable at the same time so all you have to do is go to insert and then um, yeah you can go to recommended charts and look for the bar chart here uh, box and whiskers rather <laughs> what I'm trying to say all right so box and whisker is also known as uh, the box plot so you can see here that we have two box plot here in the given so the first one Let's have the data labels for us to know. Uh, the first one is the box plot for uh, the stories. Okay, the number of stories. And as you can see here, uh, there's a possible outlier if there is a point beyond uh, these true straight lines. It means that uh, this point uh, exceeds the maximum value when the, the box plot for the x variable is plotted. Okay, and here uh, we could see that um, the box plot shows us no uh, significant outlier, so no for height. Uh, we're just looking at uh, the first one, which is 64. Alright, so how about we try to um, plot this one separately? Okay, so go back to insert and then go to all charts, uh, box and whisker. Let's um, plot it alone so that we'll see clearly the data. So here, the expected uh, or the possible <coughs> outlier for this data set is 64. Okay, it means that when uh, this, uh, the, the values for the independent uh, variable will be plotted using box plot. Okay, this um, 64 pass beyond the set maximum value the supposed to be maximum value for the for the set okay but then again um in an actual data it's also possible to determine a uh, number of outliers or a few number of outliers so it's still your prerogative as a researcher whether you will include uh, this uh, 64 and its pair which is 256 uh, for your analysis Okay, so regression analysis is um, a data analysis which um, in includes or involves a lot of uh, measures. 
so it doesn't necessarily mean that we had that they identified an outlier here it means that we would uh, remove it right away so there are other ways that you we could check if uh, the linear regression output is reliable or not by looking at other measures right so if I'm the researcher in this case um, I, I would probably look at this uh, more um, and uh, probably add more uh, data set so that if uh, 10 is not enough and 15 would uh, tell us that uh, 64 is not actually an outlier if the number of uh, samples will be uh, uh, will be added or will be extended then uh, this uh, would be fine and of course if you decided to remove uh, 64 here its uh, partner which is 256 uh, will also be removed now it is also interesting to see the scatter plot this is why we have two methods for this one uh, because it's possible that the box plot will show or will flag a significant outlier uh, look at the trend line in, in 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 this case 256 is actually near the trend trend line so in this case by using the scatter plot uh, the the difference between the expected and the observed value is not uh, far from each other so in in general or in conclusion it's just okay to include this in our data set and it would not affect the output or the regression output uh, that much